today we are discussing about how to install Moodle. So, introduction to Moodle, Moodle means a modular object oriented dynamic learning environment means it is a course management system. So, basically developed in Linux, but it will work on Windows platform also. It need Apache, PHP, MySQL. So, in Windows we can use VAM server or LAM server for this. So, the database we are using is MySQL, but it will support Postgres SQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL also. So, the requirement, minimum requirement for installation of an Moodle. So, hardware requirement a minimum hard disk space is 160 MB and 256 MB RAM is also fine, we are recommending 1 GB. So, you can see for 1 GB of RAM it will support 10 to 20 users, concurrent users. So, according to the requirement you want to purchase good server or good PC. So, software is required, basically it is running on web server, you can use any web server like IIS, Apache, Nginx, etc. So, today we are installing Moodle on uh, Ubuntu uh, Apache. So, we are trying to install uh, Moodle. So, I am logging into uh, Ubuntu machine. So, these are the packages you needed Apache 2, MySQL, PHP. So, for installing on Ubuntu, so you just copy this command and paste it in your shell prompt, it will work. ask for password. So, it is already installed in this PC that is why it is coming otherwise it will install. The next package is you want to install the MySQL server as well as the MySQL client. So, I am installing MySQL server and client. installing MySQL, it is installed. The next is needed PHP, so it is also needed some supporting packages. So, you just copy this and paste it in the, in the terminal, it will install everything. is installing PHP and the related packages. So, it is installed. So, we already installed Apache, PHP and MySQL. The next task is we want to create a database for this Moodle. So, these all are the command. First, we want to log into our MySQL server. So, then you want to create the database or create the database you want to use this command create database model with this character set. So, you can use create database model with default character set UTF-8. So, I am creating a database. So, now the database is created. Second ask is we want to create a user and give privileges to next we want to create a user and give privileges to that user for accessing this database. This is the command I am using, you just copy this and paste it in your terminal, it will work. So, I am giving this command, ok, I want to flush privileges. So, now we created the database and created the user, give permission to access 
that Moodle database. So next we want to create a data folder, data folder means if somebody want to upload some files, assignments and all the things, all these files are storing in the folder called Moodle data folder. So you want to create Moodle data folder, we are creating in slash var, so cd slash var, so creating. So I created a Moodle data folder, then we want to give permission it should be accessible to all. So that is why we are giving triple seven permission. So we change the ownership also. Next thing is we want to download the Moodle tar file from the Moodle website. So I already downloaded then we want to move it to the web folder. So normally it is in slash var www, if it is in fedora slash var www html. So I am going to www. So I already downloaded that Moodle. So now we want to extract that. So we successfully extracted that folder, now you can see the Moodle folder here. So by default the ownership is root, now I want to change it to www, that is for web. So we change the ownership, so now you can see the ownership is changed. Then the actual installation, for that you just open the web browser and put the IP address of the machine slash Moodle. Now the first screen is come, then you select default language then click on next. It will say this is the address, then it will show the Moodle directory plus the data directory. So if it is correct, then click next. So it asks for which database server you are using, I am using MySQL, then click next. So then we want to give the Moodle detail, database details, what is the database, username and password and all. then click next, this is a license agreement, continue. Now you can see here all the status are okay, means all the packages we already installed, that is why it is coming in green and okay. If some package is missing, then here the color is changed to red, then continue. So it will take some time to install, maybe it will take to 5 minutes to installation. So now you can see the installation is started, it is installing each and every module. So instead of a Moodle installation video, we already put the slides in Moodle, it has a very clear instruction with screenshots, I think if you follow that you can install, it is very easy. So there is a question, what is the hardware requirement, I think in the slide itself I mentioned for 1 GB of RAM around 10 to 20 concurrent users, so according to that you want to configure your server, because our server is a very high end server, it has around 96 GB of RAM with Intel Xeon 
six core processes like that two servers are running here for the Moodle. Can we install, I think can we develop Moodle in Windows, in developing I do not know, but you can install Moodle in Windows. How to copy a Moodle tar file and extract it in Apache to root folder? So, you want to use cp command for copy. So, now the installation is finished, you can see all the things are success and now there is a button called continue. So, I am click on continue. So, now it will ask me for the admin, admin user detail. So, we want to provide the admin user details. So, I am setting up the password. So, admin users email address. then city, then the country, then update profile. There is a question, can we use Oracle as a database server? Yes, you can use Oracle as a database server. So, now the installation is over. Now, you want to give the front page settings, what is your site name and all. I am giving workshop model. Save changes. Now your model is ready. Next is how to add a course. So, normally for adding a course you want to go here site administration then courses add bar edit courses click here add a new course. So, you want to say the course name BBMS 2013 and want the course name then you can see here how the format it should be in day wise or week wise or it should be in topic wise something like that and what is the maximum upload size, file upload size for this course and if you have groups then you can enable groups and all I am creating that. Now, the course is created you can see DBMS 2013 is a new course. So, next is how to add users. So, that click on the site administration, then you can see a tab called users, click on users, then click on accounts, then you can see add a new user. So, here you want to add a user, I am adding a student, adding a user called student1. want to give the name of the student, last name, email address of the student. Then city and country, create user. So, now the user is created, you can see only two users, admin user plus the student user. So, if I want to add this student to this course so and then you want to click on this course, then you can see there in there is no participant now. So, I want to add some participant, you can see users here, enroll users, enroll user click on student, you can see different roles, manager, teacher, non-editing teacher, student. So, you can create your own roles and give permission accordingly. So, I am adding him as a student. When finish enrolling, the student will appear here. So, 
this is how to install a module and create course and create students. So, I think you can configure and you can go through this, it has a lot of features. Like if you go here, you can see what are the things available. If you want to put assignment, you can put assignment and chat module is there. Then if you if you have any external tools like P answer, then we are using this through this tool only external tool. If you want to put forums, that is possible, quizzes, survey, wiki, everything is possible, book, file, folder, URLs can put like this. So, if you install and go through this, so there is a question whether admin only can create a user or student can do that by themselves. No, there is two, three type of registrations are there. There is email based registration, self enrollment, two, three type of registrations are there. So, according to that you can create users. If it is an email based registration, then you want to send the link, then students will register, after that they will automatically enroll into specific course. Once they created the username, select the username and password and they created the user, after that they will get a mail with a key for enrolling in that course. If I put the key then they will automatically enroll. So, for our DBP Moodle it is not possible to create or self registration we already disabled. That feature is also available. If you Go to site administration, you can find that. Plugins, you can find these things authentication and all. Manage authentication. This type of authentication are there. So, if you need LDAP server, IMAP server, everything is possible you, using that you can. If it is radius, that is also possible. There is no need for email based self registration, you can disable it from here. This is the disable button. Now it is disabled. Um, there is a question called be how we can create bulk users. Yes, it is possible to create bulk users. So, for that we need some CSV file. First, we want to put what are the fields. I will show you in a minute. Bold. So, this is we want to create a CSV file, first is the username, then comma, password, then first name, last name, email address. If you want to enroll it in a specific course, you want to specify this course, after that you can enroll here. I will show you how to do that. I put DBMS 2013. So, like that you want to create, now you want to go site administration, users, accounts, you can see upload users, then select that file, upload a file, browse and select the file, upload upload this user, it is uploaded. Okay, you can see one user is created, Dasta, because this email id is already there, that is why it is not created. So, if you go to the course, you can see this person's So, you can see one more student automatically added. So, 100 of students means you want to prepare a file like this and just upload. How to post questions? I think for posting questions, you can use the forums. If you create forums, then you can post the questions. 
we have configured attendance module and want to use attendance so regarding attendance i i don't have any idea about this because we are not a tried ये क्वेश्चन है क्या आई थिंक होप एवरी वन अंडरस्टैंड द थिंग्स यू कैन जस्ट कॉन्फिगर इट इन ए सिंपल पी सी एंड गो थ्रू दिस यू कैन प्ले विद दिस एन यू विल फेमिलियर विद मोडिल देन यू कैन डू वॉट एवर यू नीड सो देर इज लॉट ऑफ प्लग इन्स आर अवेलेबल इफ यू गो टू द मोडिल वेबसाइट सो डाउनलोड द प्लग इन्स एंड इंस्टॉल इट इफ यू नीड that plugins according to your requirement so thank you